Hey, welcome to another video. Um, I'm actually building off my last video, which is related to um, AWS DynamoDB, setting up a local environment for it. Just check out that video to get started, because um, we're just going to continue to build off on this video. So in this video, um, actually, I guess in more in the previous video, we already started with this MERN boilerplate code. I close that. Um, and then we're actually just working off this uh, Medium post I've included down below. And uh, check that out. So we're actually going to keep scrolling. We've actually done all of this. Now we're going to be doing setting up the AWS Remote DynamoDB. So first thing you have to do is sign into your AWS console. If you don't have one, sign up for an account. Uh, then you go under Services. I mean, I have mine here, but if you go to Database here, you have DynamoDB. And so it's pretty simple. What you're first going to do is uh, you can head over to Tables here. I know there's a bunch of Create Table options. Uh, you're just going to hit. I guess I already did this tutorial. I just delete these tables. Uh, just let me delete this table because I'm going to create a table with the exact same name. So I'm just going to create a table. Uh, my table is going to be the same thing as I did with local. So create a uh, fruits table. Already exists. No, it really doesn't. I'm just going to refresh the page. Hopefully, it's just a timing thing. Fruit. Fruits table. There, it's now good. Uh -huh. And my unique um, primary key will be fruit ID, the same as uh, last time with my local environment. So let me actually just double check that. Uh, fruit ID, yes, it's there. And so I know I'm jumping around, but it's going to be a string. I'm going to scroll down and hit create. And see, that's perfect. And it's going to set itself up. And the table's all set up. You're all done there. So assuming you, if you've already actually set up the IAM user and stuff, you're actually already done. Um, however, we have to do that. So um, it will be continue to create the table. Um, but while it's doing that, we're going to head into services. I'm headed over to security here. You want IAM. And this is the, how we're going to access our um, actual table uh, remotely. We head over to users on the left here. I'm going to delete this user again. I uh, did this earlier today. Okay, yes, delete them. I'm going to hit add and fruits user is what I'm going to call it. I'm going to give them programming access. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit attach existing policies. And I'm going to type in Dynamo. I'm going to say full access because it's me doing it. And I hit create user. And so now I'm going to get this access key and the secret key, and I need to write those down. But I actually want the specific format for um, our config file, and it looks like this. So I'm just going to grab that, head over to our config.js, change the inside of the remote config. So I'm going to copy and paste the access key, and I'm going to copy and paste the secret access key. And if you look at my account, I'm on US East 1. So that's how I know my region here. And this was just one option. The other option is you can put all this information into the AWS uh, configuration using this CLI tool. Um, that's w another option. But since I'm going to be rotating between local and remote development, I'm, I just wanted to use the config. And so with that, I should be able to actually have, uh, be able to access my a AWS account because I have a Dynamo account because I have full access on it. And I should be able to access this table because it's created now. So, um, if you look at the, um, we're going to pick a script, which is, we're going to go with the uh, fruits. So go to fruits.js, and over here we're just going to make a is dev and is prod console logs. Just so we know when we, we're actually hitting prod. And, um, I mean, you're going to have to change this because it doesn't work. Necessarily, so uh, here you just have to change the start script to watch this for the production mode. And the other thing is, um, I realize that the webpack might be for production might be a little outdated, so just copy and paste all that in there. And so, with that, now we can just do an um, npm run start, which really do it on the same port, uh, same terminal window. So in my terminal window, I've already done the npm install. I'm just going to do npm run start dev uh, start here, not start dev, and it's going to take a few minutes to just build this. 
And all it's telling me is, is just go through the same uh, API here, uh, the get using uh, fruits. So just change it to be fruits. I don't need to change any of the headers or anything like that. It, and it's just going to It's now going to start listening for the production. So it's going to be done there. So we're going to say send. It's going to load no fruits. And it is in prod. And as you know from my last video, I actually have a fruit living in the in the database. So um, this actually works. Um, so that's how you pretty much do um, setting it up for a. Uh, AWS DynamoDB on the remote and I guess if you watched the last video it's also for doing it locally. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching.